Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape tutorial number 28, Diagram Connector. The Diagram Connector tool can be found at the bottom of your toolbox here. And if you select it, the icon will look like this. The cursor will become sort of a downward moving line. So the whole purpose of the Diagram Connector is to connect shapes together along a path and that path has some auto functionality where it will move out of the way of other shapes it'll keep things connected no matter where you move it um, it's basically used for making flow charts, trees, or any kind of diagram where you want to connect boxes or text boxes or shapes together and it's very simple to use you hover over an object and a center node or a center box will appear you just have to left click on that box and drag your cursor down find another center box and release it has now created a path between these two objects so if I take the selection tool and I move this box over now the path will go with it no matter where you move control Z so let's go ahead and select this object select the diagram tool if you click on this first button make connectors avoid selected objects the program will do the best it can to move the line where it does not intersect that shape so if you want to make the spacing go up on that you can bring that up and now we move this over a little bit and it will still do it so let's go back and you can play around with it and it will do its best control Z it will do its best to move that out of the way now something of note with a diagram connector tool it is um, it can be finicky at times and it sometimes doesn't do exactly what you want it to do control Z okay so let's go ahead and connect this diagram if you made a mistake or you want to delete one of the lines um, one of the paths all you have to do is select it and press delete and you can get rid of that control Z to bring it back now I have my diagram where the everything is connected so let's go back to the diagram tool now make connectors at nor selected objects if I was to put this here and I wanted it to ignore like we did a while ago we select it we select the diagram tool and we can click this button and it will do its best to try to ignore that if we press this one it will disregard that instructions and go right over the top of any other object the curvature is um, the amount of the curve that's on the object and the spacing is how far it wants to move away from the object um, sometimes if you're working with a lot of complex stuff you want to keep the lines very close you keep the spacing low if you want to raise it up you keep it high um, so let's go ahead and select all these control A and let's select this button here so it's that function is going to try to nicely arrange the objects and you can see how sometimes it does you don't get the results you wanted out of it so let's just select these let's go back and let's try it again what it's trying to do is it's trying to figure out what is a way that we can make all this connect and look good and be sorted together sometimes it doesn't work out the way you want it to control Z so the ideal length for the connectors if we raise that up let's try it again and you can see let's go ahead and press 4 and you can see what it's doing it's still trying to lay everything out nicely but now the connectors we've told it to make the length a certain way so if we drop that down try it again and you can keep playing with that 
to get it somewhere that, that you find that you like. Now, let's control Z a couple times. Now, there, you don't have to use any of those functions. It's just there for random. This button makes connectors with the end mark arrows pointed downward. And this is do not allow overlapping shapes. So once again, if we select all these, go to here, do not allow overlapping shapes, and then use this, it'll keep them from touching each other. And that does it for the diagram connector tool. It can be really handy in some instances. Um, a lot of you would prefer just to draw your paths directly to the object if you know that the chart isn't going to change size. However, if you want something that's more dynamic and you can continue to move and manipulate it and change the parts as, it, as the project grows or changes, it's better to use a diagram connector because everything will be anchored properly and still have like the correct functionality. Please join us for Inkscape tutorial number 29, Export. Thanks for watching.